Well, as we can see here, we have a, 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 one of these really, really nice mounts. And the, the beauty of this particular mount is essentially you, you've got the, everything intact. This is a, what is known as a sagittal section, meaning it's cut down you know, long ways to the long axis. What we see here is the carpal bones here in the knee and in the fetlock, along with the sesamoid, pasterns, pastern joint, coffin joint, and navicular. Uh, in addition, we also see soft tissue structures. We see the belly of muscle up here for the, for the flexor tendon as it comes into both muscular and then into a tendinous. This is the yellow area here is the deep flexor tendon. And this area right here is the superficial flexor tendon. And it stops, goes past here and stops down on the pastor. Joint pain and, and soreness comes from the degeneration of the cartilage. If you look really close, you can see just a little bit of a white line from the end of the bone. This is subchondral bone. Right here at the end is what is known as hyaline cartilage. The synovial fluid occupies this space and it works in if, when it's very, very thick and normal and healthy, there's not a lot of it, but it works like a hydraulic. Essentially, it's under pressure. And the if you look at a, a micrograph or a, a, a photograph uh, uh, that's been extremely like uh, magnified, you'll notice the cartilage itself is almost like a sponge. It has tubules and the fluid uh, from the synovia fluid goes up into those, those holes, those, those, those spicules in the cartilage itself. And when this is concussed, it squeezes out the synovia fluid and creates the fluid uh, between the two, so the cartilage itself is not even hardly making any contact whatsoever. It's mostly fluid between. Essentially, we have to look at the, the, the life's blood of a joint as being the synovial fluid. That's why it's so paramount that the quality of the fluid and the HA content in the fetlock and or all these joints is the best it can be for a horse to function and do its job properly without having discomfort or inflammation. And because what happens is that creates swelling of the soft tissue around the joint soreness and then also pain on concussion and, and, and movement of the joint itself. Daily supplementation of Lubricin will help maintain these joints. This is just on one limb. Now you've got four limbs plus you've got the, you know, the rest of the body. So essentially the longer you stay on Lubricin, the better you'll help replenish these, these joints. Maintaining joints for equine athletes is paramount to their ability to perform and keep them comfortable doing their job and doing it regular on a cyclic, regular, daily basis, week after week, month after month, year after year. Joints don't come with a warranty, so use Lubricin HA because it's cost-effective insurance for your horse.